Wow. What a travel day I had yesterday. Since it's 10 minutes before noon, <laughs> we're going to call this coffee with Kenny. Here I'm making new rules. Anything be before noon is coffee with Kenny. <laughs> wow. Hey, that reminds me. Uh, my wife's mama, Dee. Now, me, I say it's 1155. Dee, she will say it's five till noon. What do you say? I think it depends what year you're born. So is it 1155 or is it five till noon? <laughs> Man, I'm only doing this coffee with Kenny because do I got a story to tell? Now, here's my disclaimer. I am not bitching. I am not moaning and I'm not crying. I'm telling you my story. So we do uh, our show Sunday at the Texas Motor Speedway. Starts at 11 o'clock. Good show. Um, had Chris Buescher, uh, Brad Keselowski, Ryan Blaney, Marcus Smith, who owns all the tracks. Myself, Johnny Roberts, Wendy Venerini. Goes good. And uh, then they asked me to announce the top 12 at 2 o'clock. Now, my flight takes off at 5, but no problem, right? You know, I don't, I don't want to stay all night. I want to come home because that's just the way I, I, I like to do it. I like, I like to go home. I've been, gone, I've been gone my whole life, so I do like to go home. So anyway, top 12 come out, and uh, I announce them. Let me, hold on, I got to get this for you. You're, you're, you're going to shit when you see this. So, um, right here. All right. So, they hand me, that's where I do, that's where I do the Kenny Wall Show and Kenny Conversation, in my office. I got an office. I'm on. I'm like Larry Mack Reynolds, baby. I got me an office. Um, so, I'm going to announce the top 12 in the points. And they hand me this beautiful... I call it a cue cards, you know. Anyway, so, you know, you, you get to somebody like this, and, and it goes, uh, your two-time Cup Series champion earned his spot with three wins this season, driving the number eight. Three, she Chevrolet, Kyle Bush. Crowd goes nuts. And, and so, okay, I'm reading off these. This room, somebody said, Herman, you got Steve Harvey. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell's that? Read this one. Says, his win in Nashville clinched his, okay, his win in Nashville clinched his spot in the Cup Series playoffs, driving the number one Worldwide Express Chevrolet, and I'm focused. I'm focused because I'm looking at everybody. Tyler Reddick. Everybody, I, right away, I'm like, what's going on? Everybody, oh, did I say, I think I just said the F word. Don't pay attention. Or as I as I say now, deal with it. <laughs> Was clearly Ross Chastain, but the person that made the cue card put Tyler Reddick. Well, I'll say it's fifty percent my fault because I should have been paying more attention. But you know, in the moment, you got a big crowd, their pyro pyro going off. So anyway, that was that was a story yesterday. It wasn't really a story. I made it a story. I got I got headed to the airport. I got to the airport. And one person, one person on Twitter said something about it. That was it. Anyway, Kenny Wall Show say something about that. But the cue cards are pretty cool. And so um, this was a good one. He's making his 17th appearance in the Cup Series playoffs with three wins this season. Driving the number 11 FedEx Toyota, Denny. Hamlin! Of course, I I improvised a little bit at the start. I said, uh, this driver has a talk show. It's called Actions Detrimental. Crowd went nuts. <laughs> so I, I would add live a couple of them. Well, I was getting down to the end, and I, I should have ad lib that uh, Ross test. I'm going to tell you what, the Ross was good about it. Ross was go, Herman. I'm not Tyler Reddick. <laughs> and Tyler Reddick is like, hey, thanks for in introducing me two times. 
But anyway, so I made a big deal about that on social media. Damn, five minutes. Anyway, so I get to the airport, and they got rain rolling in, and now I'm busting ass from the racetrack. I'm busting ass from the racetrack getting to the airport because my plane takes off at five. So you got to be there at four, right? Couple storms roll around. We roll out, and that my plane's late. Now we're taking off at 520. So that plane goes back to the gate because the pilot timed out. The pilot can't fly anymore because he's timed out. That's a rule. We get back to the gate. We get a new pilot. Now we're really delayed. Now we roll out, another storm rolls in. He goes, I'm sorry. We got to go back to the gate because we're out of water. The whole damn plane goes, no, no. This is the damnest thing I've ever seen and been part of. It's like a goat. So uh, we go back. Now it's midnight, and we finally go ahead and uh, get a new pilot, new everything. My ass gets home around. I land at 2.35 in the morning. So anyway, that's my, that was my night, and I woke up at 11.14. What a day it was.